In this video we'll show how you can set up a connected application in your Salesforce account. So when you want to work with Salesforce data in Alpha Anywhere, a prerequisite is that you first go to your Salesforce account and set up a connected application. So we'll go now uh, to Salesforce and uh, we'll log in over here. And I'll log into my test account here in Salesforce. And then uh, in, once we get to Salesforce, we'll see that there's a section uh, in the navigation menu on the left called Apps. So I'm going to uh, navigate over to Apps and then choose the App Manager. So these are all of the applications that we have here. And you can see I've already created a, uh, an application called Alpha Anywhere Test. In order to create a new connected application, I would just click on this new connected application button over there. But let's go here to this existing application and just edit its properties to see what we've done. So when we look at the properties of the connected application, we can see that we've defined some uh, basic information over there. But the important thing is that we've turned on OAuth settings and we've also specified a number of uh, callback URLs. So these callback URLs are used by Salesforce to call back into your Alpha Anywhere application after the authentication has been completed. So typically what happens is you're in your Alpha Anywhere application, you click a button to log into your Facebook account. That will then bring up the uh, Facebook login screen and at the end of that login process, uh, Facebook will redirect back to the Alpha Anywhere application. And so that is what the callback URL is used for. So you can create as many callback URLs as you want. So for example, these callback URLs over here are for um, localhost. And you can see that they all call back to a special system page here called uh, underbar underbar a5 external, external authentication.a5w. So this is the uh, special alpha 5, uh, alpha anywhere system page that deals with OAuth authentication. So, so what you would enter over here are uh, callback URLs for use while you're doing testing in live preview. So that would be either localhost or 127.0.0.1. And then also um, uh, URLs that you would use for your published application. So these would be the URL where you published your application to followed by the uh, actual page, which is underbar, underbar A5 external authentication. So keep in mind that when you're doing testing against localhost or 127.0.0.1, Salesforce will allow you to use HTTP um, protocols. But in a real application, Salesforce is going to require that you use the HTTPS protocol. So you can see here that some of my callback URLs are defined just using HTTP, but those are because these are localhost uh, URLs. So once you've defined the callback URLs, you can then go and choose the scopes that you want. You can see in this case here yeah, I've chosen uh, all of the scopes and uh, and then once you've done all of that, then you can go ahead and you can uh, save your connected application. And then you'll see over here that you've got the consumer key, sometimes um, called the um, uh, uh, application key. And you've also got the consumer secret over there. So, and you'll click this button or this hyperlink there to reveal the consumer secret. These two values, the consumer key and the consumer secret will be needed when you get back to Alpha Anywhere to complete the setup of your uh, Salesforce um, uh, uh, application. Thanks very much.